This is the Mason City Toros podcast. I am Joe Malone, and joining me, assistant coach of the Toros, Marquise Cotton. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, Joe. So we are uh, watching the players skate around on the ice, big smiles on their face, post-game skate with the fans after the Toros beat the Rochester Grizzlies here at home, 4-3. Uh, your thoughts on the performance of the team tonight? I think the guys came out hard, and they played a full 60, which is what we asked them to do. And, I mean, can't ask for more from the guys. Now, the top line for the Toros had just spent the weekend playing with the Bulls Friday night, Saturday night, and uh, that's Carter Newpower, Jack Campion, Soda Iso guy. You look at the scores tonight in a 4-3 win, Carter Newpower, Jack Campion, Soda Iso guy. Talk to me about the performance of those three. I mean, those three guys are just great. I mean, you can't ask for more from them. I mean, they come out every day willing to work hard, and they leave from the front like we asked them to do for the vets, and it's just always a good effort from them, and I love it. Now, uh, it started the scoring with uh, Carter Newpower in the uh, first period and then had the power play to get the lead back 2-1 after the first period. Second period, Rochester kind of got going. Uh, what what happened there and what did the Toros do right to get back into the game? Well, I mean, Rochester's a great team, as you know, and, I mean, they have great coaching, so, you know, I'm sure the words that they got were, you know, pretty inspiring, so they came out hard and, we had a tough time getting out of the D zone there. And, um, you know, we had to weather the storm and just make some good reads and good plays and get the puck out and just kind of survive it. And then uh, in the third period, there was just one goal. It was Jack Campions. It was a power play goal about smack dab in the middle of the period. And from there on out, uh, the Toros looked to be pretty good uh, in control of the situation, not scrambling. Um, I, I mean, they were scrambling to get in front of some shots and whatnot, but I mean, it was it was all control. Yeah, no, and I mean, that's what we kind of work on in practice is just making sure we have a good D zone and stay calm and communicate well and, you know, support each other all over the ice. That's something I say before every game and Nick does it as well and the guys really take to it and it, you can see it's been getting better and, you know, we put it to the test tonight. Now, next up is Wilmer on Friday night and then at Rochester, a game that was postponed because of the snowstorm. Uh, Rochester getting, I think, about three times the amount of snow we got here in Mason City. Um, after those two games, it is uh, a week that you normally would be wrapping Christmas gifts and you know making sure you've got all the cards filled out and stamps on the letters, but you're going to be in Blaine at the Super Rink for the showcase and three very tough opponents there. Uh, December is going to be a fun one for Toros fans to keep track of the team on. Yeah, no, most definitely. And, you know, the guys I think are ready. They're amped up and ready for the test that they're going to be getting for the next couple weeks here. And I'm excited to see how our guys respond. So um, first half of the year uh, for the home ice, uh, what are your thoughts on the Toros and uh, um, what we've seen here in Mason City? I think we have a really good group here and I mean the guys are so close and they just keep getting better every day and they all want to work hard and get better and you know try to achieve their goals and you know me and Nick as well are working to help them get there. Uh, I coming off the ice tonight it was uh, it was very fun to see how pumped they were. You had the uh, players that were not dressed for the game kind of leading the charge as they came off the ice getting them pumped up and uh, they were happy to get the win. Oh, no, most definitely. I think the guys had this one circled on the calendar. And, you know, we always like to see, test our medal, I'd say. Um, and, and the boys really get up for it and get excited. Marquise Cotton, assistant coach with the Mason City Toros. Thank you. Thank you, Joe.